Hello guys and welcome back either to the existing vlog or a new vlog because I never know But today we're doing something very exciting and we have all of the boxes There's like 8,000 boxes here. I'll show you for our stroller, which I'm so so excited about I also had an OB appointment yesterday so I can do a little I mean, it's just like it was literally like five minutes It was the shortest easiest appointment ever so it wasn't that exciting my next one actually will be exciting But I can update y'all on that in a minute. Look at all these boxes. So our in-laws got us well my in-laws his parents <laughs> got us the mockingbird which is basically the same as the like up a baby vista but it's like half the cost and honestly i feel like there's things about it that are even better so i'm assuming this is like the main part but we got so many <laughs> so many accessories this is so fancy Ooh. Okay. <laughs> Oh my gosh, look at it comes in like a giant bag. You can use this for uh, Christmas when I pretend to be Santa Claus. <laughs> That's actually a good idea. And we'll put the box down so the cats can play with it. Look, Sankey, don't you want to go in there? Of course you do. <laughs> wow. No, she's a little scared. All right, I've got 600 other boxes. Over here that I need to open. Oh, she went in. Oh, hello, Nago. You can stay in there. Oh, that's cute. Oh, it's just a wet bag. That's a nice little freebie. You always need a wet bag, I feel like. That's actually nice feeling, too. It's kind of like heavy duty. And it has a little, like, stroller strap. So you could wrap this around the handlebar. time with the canopy trying to figure out like which I don't know I guess direction <laughs> it's supposed to go and I'm opening everything else like all the accessories so I'll show you that in a second but I'm kind of confused maybe I need to like look they shipped all these individually and on top of that they don't like none of these manuals actually like identify what's in the package so I thought that was the infant insert but this looks a lot more like the infant insert because it came with like this wedge and a little headrest so now I'm not sure like what the difference between these two is The cats are obsessed with the box, and I think Ken figured it out. Yeah, you did. Look, you can tell. No Velcro strip. Where's this Velcro strip? Well, maybe it doesn't need to Velcro because it kind of like... It says align the Velcro strip with the other Velcro strip. There's no Velcro strip. Like, where is that supposed to be? <laughs> like, I'm going crazy. It says there's a Velcro strip. Where? It's got to be in there. It's probably in all the folds. I've literally touched every inch of this. So where is that supposed to be? One all touch, right. rear brake. It's locked, okay. Okay. Oh, you take it for the first stroll. Okay. Alright, there she goes. Worth the wait. Oh cool, look how adjustable that ooh. Ooh. Like a pro. This is nice and like really smooth and glidey. And look we put the um the sunshade on that this came with it. And it has little magnets that just stick to the canopy. That's a nice touch. Mm-hmm. It's gonna fit through here. Okay, your turn. Let's try. Take turn. Take turn. Take turn. Wow. Very smooth. Yeah. How do you like the stroller, Sinky Boy? He watched very closely, studied exactly how to assemble it. Thank you. What is on your eye? 
You gotta learn how to clean yourself. Why aren't you a cat? You're supposed to be self-cleaning or whatever. <laughs> All right, Ken's gonna try to put in the infant insert. Is it supposed to be facing you for infant? Probably. Just look at these little mittens. They're so cute, Tanky. Super Dad over here figuring it all out. This is just so nice. I love their like logo and their font and this like faux leather here on the handlebars is so nice. I also just think it looks sharp having the brown there. Their branding is, it's kind of everywhere, but in like a very tasteful way. I really dig it. Ooh, this feels so comfy. He's gonna love to put his little face right there. Oh, it's a little bit crooked. <laughs> this is so funny to watch. He just like collapsed it, but I don't know if we collapsed it properly. And then he was trying to uncollapse it and the seat just, he just pulled the seat out on accident. Oh my gosh. Oh, we put the infant insert in there. I don't even know if I showed that, but I, we did. But I think you had to turn it around this way to collapse it. So what are you doing? You're just unlocking it and then what? Oh, locking it. That's what you're doing. And then it said to pull this. Okay, that <laughs> doesn't look right. Okay, so it is all assembled. I have the belly very out right now. It's getting kind of late. I'm kind of exhausted. So I'm going to pick this back up. Sorry if that sound is annoying. I'm gonna pick this back up in the morning and show you all the accessories. It's also just like so dark. So I figure I'll show you everything when there's better lighting and I'm not so tired, it's not so late. So I'll pick this back up in the morning and show you all the accessories and like give you a better look at the stroller and stuff. Okay. It's the next day and I wanted to show y'all some of the stuff, like the little accessories and stuff that I didn't get to show you when we were unboxing the stroller yesterday. Like I said, this is not like sent to me or sponsored or anything. <laughs> I'm just so excited to show you all this stuff and I'm just excited to have it. And the stroller is so stinking nice. So I will link it down below in case y'all are curious uh, as to like where to get it or if you just like kind of want to look into it because it's really, really nice. But as y'all saw, I think one of the nicest things that I didn't know it came with, but I guess it makes sense, is it came with this just like giant drawstring <laughs> bag. It's honestly pretty nice. It's got the little branding on it. And I was honestly thinking, I mean, obviously a lot of the reason I send this is probably just for you know, the packaging, but like y'all saw, when it collapses down, it, you know, gets, I mean, not super narrow, but it gets a lot smaller. And we're obviously gonna store this in the garage, most likely. So I was thinking, I mean, obviously the garage is not the cleanest place in our house <laughs> to be expected. And you know, there can be bugs and things like that in the garage. So I was thinking what might be kind of ideal is when we're not using it and we collapse it down in the garage to like throw this bag over top of it just to kind of like keep it protected from like dust and bugs and things like that. So this could be a cool little protective thing or even just for travel purposes in the car. I feel like that bag could be really handy. And then it also came with, it's a mess in here. I need to really organize this stuff. Wait, where is everything? Oh, and then in the box with the actual stroller also came, I showed y'all really quickly this little wet bag and they put the cutest <laughs> little note that sometimes our little bundles of joy leave us bundles of well you know we hate to let that ruin a perfectly good stroller outing so we're gifting you this lined wet bag to conquer the whoopsies with confidence and this is pretty nice I mean obviously you know it's kind of super branded but it's got the little front pocket and then it's got the zipper and it's like this is really thick material I have a whole bunch of wet bags but they're a lot more of like a thinner kind of material they're definitely not this like thick and structured this honestly seems like a really good quality one that's really nice and then also with the stroller came the sun cover so i think we kind of showed y'all how this works as well but it's got a whole bunch of magnets i think you can kind of see them spread throughout i think there's four total and there's magnets on <laughs> hi she always wants to say hi whenever i'm filming down here so there's like magnetics magnets magnetizes to the little canopy and and then it kind of is a little bit like elasticized at the bottom so it kind of like hooks underneath the footrest and i didn't know it came with that either <laughs> honestly that's a really nice kind of like added bonus so i mean i feel like you'd you might want to use this honestly all the time so i'll show you the actual stroller as well now that it's all assembled because i also put some of the accessories on the stroller <laughs> so i don't even have them here to show you but then a couple other things we got with it i'm not even opening some of these because we're not going to be using them for a little while but this is the snack tray so you can kind of see there's like a little cup holder kind of on both sides and then 
the tray portion and I think this just snaps over where like the little bar is I think you take the bar off and put this on so obviously this is more for like toddlers and definitely <laughs> much older than he's gonna be for a while but I figured that would just be really good to have and you can just snap it on easily the accessories that are on it right now are the infant insert the cup holder and the like stroller organizer but then I also got just like the regular seat liner but this just protects the actual seat so you can just take this out if there's diaper incidents or spills or anything this will just be easier to remove and wipe down and then this is again <laughs> still in the container but this is the car seat insert like the car seat compatibility insert so if you you know are bringing the stroller to like the store or something you don't plan on bringing the whole seat you can take the actual stroller seat out and just put this in and then the car seat will just hook or like snap into this and then the car seat will be able to be used in the stroller they have like every car seat <laughs> probably known to man so you just pick what your car seat is and then they obviously tell you like what adapter you need i don't know like obviously we're first time parents i don't know how often you would use the car seat versus the that this might just be good to just have with it because maybe like you're planning on putting them in the actual stroller seat but then if like they're sleeping maybe you don't want to take them out of the car seat and unhook them so maybe you would take the seat off put this on and then just put the car seat in so that you're not like jostling them around as much i don't <laughs> this is all gonna be a lot of trial and error for us and then the last little thing i got again i'm just leaving this in the bag for now is just like a little basically like a little bug mosquito net type thing so again it looks like it just has a bunch of elastic and it just kind of goes around the seat probably much like the sun cover sort of just stretches around it so you know we live in the south and it gets hot and buggy just kind of it's still like breathable and obviously is mesh i feel like that would be nice to just be able to keep him from having you know to deal with any like bugs coming at him the other thing i didn't get that ken said would probably be dumb to get was the rain cover it's just kind of a plastic version of the mosquito net i feel like but i also kind of feel like i mean you're probably not going to be walking around in the rain in the stroller like maybe if you lived like somewhere like in new york city or somewhere where you walk pretty much everywhere or you know take public transportation and you sometimes will have no choice but to be out and about in the like rainy weather that would be useful but I feel like for us it's probably gonna be very few incidents where we're gonna be out with the stroller in the rain and if we are we would just get out of the rain like I don't see why we would be stuck there so that was one of the accessories that I kind of considered getting but we didn't and all the different accessories come with like their own little instructional manual let me show y'all the other couple accessories and the stroller itself so here it is in all of its glory I just love how it looks I think generally we would probably have this turned around like facing us at least while he's like a baby baby like an infant because i can't really show you and honestly i haven't i haven't messed with this a lot personally but i know you like use this little lever to do this so basically the infant insert is this thing and actually comes with like this little wedge pillow that's underneath as i think you can kind of tell once you recline it like that and then you add the infant insert it's it's almost flat it's sort of like a bassinet sort of style in that they're laying pretty much fully reclined and then the infant insert has this little headpiece right here to kind of like keep their head really nice and stable and it comes with like these really nice pads i don't think these are part of the infant insert this is just part of the stroller but these pads on the straps are really really nice i'm serious everything about this just feels really high quality like the material on this canopy it just feels really like thick very smooth and like honestly kind of soft but also just super super durable but I think we would flip this around <laughs> when we start using it I just am pretty sure when you collapse it it has to be facing outward and maybe even it has to be up like this I think to collapse it and so again I don't even know if we'll collapse it every time we store we honestly might just leave it assembled the way we use it like I said just with this flipped around I just love the brown detailing honestly this just feels so nice and smooth it honestly feels <laughs> like very luxurious and then y'all saw it has this little footrest which is adjustable with these little buttons so it can be higher or it can be lower and then as they get like much bigger it has kind of the built-in footrest on the actual stroller itself it's got a really really good amount of storage down here that's one of the things that i liked about this more than the upper baby is i don't remember exactly where it is in the upper baby but i feel like either this pole is like really low or something like that like i feel like with the upper baby using the storage down here was kind of inconvenient because there was just like a lot of bars blocking it i will 
<laughs> but I feel like on this stroller it's super super accessible like there's a lot of clearance between the actual storage space and where you would usually be accessing stuff but you can also put stuff in through here or over here it's just ugh, it's got a ton of storage and again this just feels really really nice that's the brake and then this little clip here I was so confused but when you collapse it this little clip snaps into I think like this little guy and they kind of like fall into place and that's how it stays like clipped shut but this is one of the other accessories I got this is the little cup holder it just kind of like snaps around the handlebar it definitely like I mean it's only a certain size but all this stuff is kind of flexible so even if your cup I think is a little bit bigger than this exact size I think it would work and I always <laughs> I always have water on me or some kind of beverage like all the time so that was super super important to me and then this right here is the little like stroller caddy stroller organizer whatever you want to call it again this is such nice quality this material it almost kind of feels like legging material it's just really smooth but this is also like padded like this is just super soft i'm just really really impressed with the quality of this stuff so it has this little zipper pouch on the front and then three compartments on the inside and it just velcros right around handles again i love this brown so pretty these like little slides and buttons are how you collapse it and it actually even has i thought this was so handy there's like this random little pocket back here i don't know if this is like functional for something like i don't know if some kind of accessory tucks in there or something or if it's just meant to maybe like if you don't have any storage on your stroller maybe it's just for like throwing your phone or your keys or something in but I thought this little pocket <laughs> was super super handy I feel like we'll use that a ton and then this canopy also has this really cute little feature this has like a really thin little magnet in it too but you can kind of pop that open to either I guess allow for airflow or if you just need to like peek in so this is it kind of all assembled with all the accessories attached I don't know if I would use the organizer like every single time I use this or if that's more for like you know if you're gonna be going to somewhere where you're gonna be kind of out and about all day like the zoo or you know the mall or something like that because my diaper bag also comes with stroller clips and obviously you would clip that in the same place this is so you'd have to have one or the other I don't know I just feel like I have a lot of <laughs> storage options which I can appreciate but this also just moves so nicely it just glides really well it's a very 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 smooth ride and so far obviously we haven't used it but everything about it just feels and looks really really nice so anyway we're super impressed super super excited we obviously got to store this somewhere in the meantime oh i'm just so excited that it's here and ready whenever he is i never really get my stomach moving on camera i don't know if i'm gonna be able to now but he has so much hiccups right now like so much hiccups and he was just moving around, but I don't think I'm going to capture it. Also, this line on my belly, sorry if you don't like to see pregnant bellies, especially like... Wow, look at this angle. This is good. What an angle. <laughs> this line down here, just suddenly over the last like... I always had like a very faint line, but honestly it was kind of more like this. All throughout pregnancy, like very faint. And then all of a sudden I've noticed this is my belly button piercing, by the way. That's why that's like super dark. And my belly button's like completely non-existent it was a super any and now it's like literally just flat it's completely flush <laughs> with the rest of my belly but this part sorry if you don't like <laughs> to see pregnant bellies but this is just what it is um this line the linea negra or nigra that has gotten so much darker just the under the belly button portion i just noticed it i feel like it's happened over the last like two days it has gotten crazy crazy dark here is the <laughs> pretty much already showing it to you but this is the 35 and a half over 35 and a half i'll be 36 weeks in two days so this is the almost <laughs> 36 week bump it is looking large and in charge also i just like randomly picked up the camera it's probably throwing this into another pregnancy vlog because we're all over the place at this point but <laughs> i wanted to try to see if i could show the hiccups but they're not really easy to capture on camera you can see them in person or like if you put your phone or like a piece of paper or like a little pad of paper or anything on my belly while he's hiccuping you can just see it <laughs> move all over the place which is really funny and i can feel it obviously from the inside but you can also feel it from the outside which is kind of fun but i don't think i'm gonna really be able to show it on this camera and even catching it on my phone is hard to do i also have a hard time i feel like capturing his like wiggles and wriggles and stuff too on my belly i don't know if i'm just not getting good angles my phone is like i'm so glad i don't know if i mentioned this i think i did i pre-ordered the iphone 13 
the Pro Max in the one terabyte. I got the biggest phone <laughs> with the biggest storage I could because my phone right now is a 10. So it was a 10 Max Pro, whatever the heck, but the camera on it could use some improvement. So I'm very excited to have a better camera, but I feel like I'm not capturing good belly video because of that. But I will have the new phone in time for baby boy to actually be here and then I'll get really good pictures of him. So that's that i actually i feel like i mentioned this in a few vlogs back as well but i have like decluttered this entire house like sanky did you hear that did y'all hear that thunder it isn't storming on and off all day it's actually kind of funny because we went out ken and i went out for lunch today we went to olive garden of all places <laughs> we have not been to olive garden in literally like five or six years we were talking about it and i was just like feeling soup and breadsticks so i went to olive garden for lunch and it was kind of like overcast but not raining and then of course as soon as we leave it's like downpouring it's always our luck like we go somewhere and then it just starts like the skies open up while we're out <laughs> so that happened my hair was like all nice and straight and then now it's not. I have been nesting super hard as you know we do, especially when we're getting this far along and this large. Y'all see this? I call this like my Scott Calvin situation when <laughs> the shirt just like can't cover the whole belly. I have been nesting like crazy, organizing, doing all the things and decluttering and organizing but specifically decluttering has been like the name of the game for me. I just want to literally get rid of everything like everything. I want to throw everything away. I want to have like the least amount of shit possible in this house. And I did a really, really, well, no, I did a really good job. I'm going to just like give myself the credit. I did a really good job. Sometimes I go into like a decluttering mode and I don't really do very well, but I did pretty good. I was pretty cutthroat, pretty ruthless this time. And I actually have all this stuff here. We need to go drop off. I was like looking at a bunch of places because I know there's like, I think like the VA or the Vietnam veterans do like pickup, but then there's also Salvation Army. There's Goodwill. And I don't know like if there's one that's better than the other in terms of like being the most charitable or like making the biggest impact. So let me know down below if y'all know like which, if one is better than the other or you know, stuff like that. I don't know, I wanna make sure my stuff's going to the best and most like worthy charity. But anyway, so I'll try to show y'all what I have here, but honestly, I don't even think you can really appreciate how much is here based on what it looks like right now. So I have a big bag there with like some shoes and stuff in it. And then I have this big box, which is actually like two boxes. Again, I don't really know, and it's so dark. I don't know if you'll be able to appreciate, but this is like a pretty giant Target box that's full. And then I have like another box <laughs> within the Target box and then stuff kind of all over the top as well. And then I have this giant box here that's basically like all books and stuff. And then this like a duffel bag with a bunch of bags in there. It doesn't like look like a ton, but it is. I feel like if we were to measure like the weight of this, it would be a ton of stuff. It's just very heavy. A lot of clothes, a lot of books, just like random houseware stuff, decor, like shoes. There's a, I don't know, what do you even call this, like a curtain rod kind of thing <laughs> here. Like so much random stuff. So we need to go take that to Goodwill or whatever. I obviously can't take it by myself because I can't even lift one of these up, let alone all of these, and then unload them and stuff. So anyway, that's pretty much <laughs> what I picked up the camera to say. Oh my gosh, it is just so dark I picked up the camera just to sh basically try to show the belly mentioned how successful i was at decluttering literally y'all between the cleaning that ken and i are doing and the decluttering we're doing every inch of this house i'm not joking every 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 space in this house literally no stone left unturned every closet every room every cupboard every cabinet every shelf any anywhere where there's stuff literally i went through it and organized it and got rid of stuff and then we're doing a ton of cleaning but it's a lot of cleaning that I just can't do anymore because I'm so, so large and just obviously it's harder to move around and bend and stuff like that and I just get exhausted. I just spent like four days in the closet. I just finished today actually because our closet's really big. Going through all of our clothes, I reorganized them. I like washed a bunch of stuff. I switched out the seasons like for the summer stuff I took out, put our like fall and winter stuff in and then I decluttered as y'all saw a ton of clothes. So the closet itself took me like four days because that was just exhausting and there's just so much involved in that and just so many steps and packing stuff away and all that kind of stuff. So that was a whole project. And then Ken is helping me with the cleaning, like I said, because I normally like he doesn't really do much cleaning 
his like I don't know his roles and responsibilities really mostly include like dishes and vacuuming but all the other stuff you know like dusting and wiping things down and all that kind of stuff I typically do but I made him a very very intensive list of stuff that I just can't do anymore like dusting the baseboards which again I know is like kind of an annoying like obnoxious potentially unnecessary thing but I literally just want this house to be 100% organized, 100% decluttered, and 100% clean. So I should really read y'all <laughs> the list of stuff that I made for him to do. I feel like I'm gonna have to stay in this room because it's like the only room that has like a tiny bit of light. I put y'all on a tripod <laughs> so I didn't have to keep holding the camera. So I made him like this list, which he can, you know, kind of do at his leisure. Let me tell y'all what's on this list and I'm like helping him with these, but he's kind of taking the reins on, which is really, really nice because I, <laughs> to be honest, he's probably not done any of these things since we've lived together or known each other definitely not since we've lived in this house but <laughs> this is like his first time ever having to like do any of this deep cleaning and he's crushing it but I've never asked him to do this stuff before so I have deep clean the carpets I want to rent a carpet cleaner and deep clean them dust all the air vents like the ones in the ceiling dust all the light fixtures inside and out clean underneath the couches and underneath the couch cushions clean all the doors like you know around the door handles where they just get kind of grubby because if you don't shut the door using the handle you just kind of use your hand it just gets kind of grubby so I Put, clean the doors like the doors themselves and then also kind of the grooves in the door they needed to be dusted that's one of those things you never think about but kind of like the different textures in your door those collect dust I needed so the doors need to be like wiped down and dusted and then all the door handles on both sides like those never really get wiped down and then the light switches like the plates that the light switches you know that are behind the light switches on the wall and then also the light switches themselves and then the wall decor that's another thing i feel like we don't think about but like all these frames and stuff accumulate a lot of dust on the tops and on the ledges and stuff the window sills and the blinds like the slatted wooden blinds and also just general dusting like surfaces of course my battery died <laughs> right as i'm like at the bottom of this list i think i stopped at um dusting the baseboards like and this is like all the baseboards in every room in the whole house and like all the decor in every room in the whole house like <laughs> this is definitely a lot of stuff dusting above the kitchen cabinets it's probably another thing we never think of doing most like we do that every christmas usually because we put garland up there but like i feel like a lot of people just don't think to dust above their cabinets or like above your fridge and then we just had to vacuum the nursery and that other room <laughs> that i'm using as like an interim nursery with that just like collects all the things just because like you know whenever you open something and it has those stupid little plastic like tags on them that have like the little bigger pieces on each end those were freaking everywhere so that had to be vacuumed and then like i said the blinds so it's a very like kind of tedious list and it's not even like hard stuff or anything like that but it's just like stuff that's kind of time consuming and it's just annoying and like i can't do so much of this stuff like i can't be bending over <laughs> crawling around on the floor doing baseboards and stuff like that like i just i physically just can't do it oh and we just had our hvac we just get that like checked every six months we just have a guy come and just like do routine maintenance and um we need to replace the filter which i knew we like i probably had to do that coming up because i think it's been a year and he reminded us so those just got delivered today so he needs to <laughs> go up in the attic and replace the filter it's just like little things like that that <laughs> again it's like very very extra i totally totally acknowledge this but once this list is done and mind you my decluttering list was way longer than this and <laughs> was probably equally laborious but honestly probably more time consuming i spent probably like cumulative like 30 40 hours like a whole business week decluttering it was so intense but by the time this list is done this house literally like i'm telling you every inch of this house will be organized decluttered and as clean as it's probably ever been since this house is built that's just one of those things i feel like everyone kind of has to do whatever is gonna like give you peace of mind before you have a baby and like going into the postpartum life where none of this stuff is gonna get done for <laughs> who knows how long so i feel like that's for me gonna be what settles me a lot is knowing that i'm gonna come home to a house that completely clean completely organized completely decluttered and i mean obviously there's stuff that still needs to be done when you know on a daily basis but at least like the big projects and the things that are easy to like put off are done i'm not gonna have to think about any of this stuff for a long time so anyway and then i wasn't really planning on starting this vlog clip to talk about the cleaning and decluttering that we're doing so much well i guess i did want to show that huge pile of donations so that's what <laughs> that's what we're working on in these last couple weeks i have like four 
you know, almost four weeks left. In two days, I'll have four weeks until my due date, which is crazy. And actually today is exactly one calendar month, like until he is due, like one month from now is when he's due. Bananas. So anyway, I was actually, okay. <laughs> So I was actually just about to sit down and again, like another stupid random cleaning task, but the ends of the chairs in here, I'm sure you'll have probably seen seen these, I sit in these all the time, but like just the like arms of the chairs, especially like this part where I feel like constantly, you know, grabbing, like you kind of put your hand there to like get up or sit down, like sling your leg over when you're sitting here. I feel like they're just looking kind of dingy and dirty and I tried to clean them before and I didn't really notice a difference, but then I got this stuff, which I feel like everybody raves about. This Folex, it's on Amazon, I can like it. Apparently it's just the bee's freaking knees. And it's mostly a carpet stain remover. It's called the Instant Carpet Spot Remover. But, I don't know if y'all know this, but generally anything you can use on the carpet, you can use on upholstery. Obviously, if you have like special kind of upholstery, I'm sure it probably matters. But generally what you can use on the carpet, you can use on like couches and stuff like that. And this actually says right here, excellent for upholstery. It even says it on the bottle. So I'm gonna try this and see if this should I turn it on or off? Oh, spray, yeah. I'm gonna see if this works better. Uh, and then I guess I'll let y'all know. I also just got a couple Target packages just came in, so I'm gonna open these. So yeah, that's, that's what's going on on this super rainy day. 